Jon Stewart knew his MTV talk series The Jon Stewart Show was dead when a comedy sketch he performed was booed by the show's audience speaking on the Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend podcast. The two men spoke about their prospective careers and how they have dealt with criticism. Stewart revealed that he found himself in trouble when people didn't approve of a Hitler skit he concocted for the MTV show, which he hosted from 1993 to 1995. Newsweek emailed a spokesperson for Stewart for comment on Friday. Two weeks into it, we do a bit. I thought it would be funny if we have Dave Attell, one of our writers at the time, dress up as Hitler and come out like he's a guest on the show. Like, hey, everybody is wondering what happened to Hitler. Oh, I think you brought a clip, and it's him at Nuremberg, he explained before mimicking the German language. I don't think anything of it. Oh, and we're laughing our balls off because every idea you come up with, it's two o'clock in the morning and you think it's hilarious because you're sleep-deprived in the way that Stalin would torture people. Stewart said he had also suggested that Attell, who, like Stewart, is Jewish, come out as Hitler while holding a bagel and saying, I don't know what I was afraid of. These are delicious. On the night, when Stewart introduced Hitler as the show's next guest, he said, Our first guest is very surprising. Nobody's heard from him for many, many years. We are just so honored that he chose to do this show first. Ladies and gentlemen, Adolf Hitler. Attell then walked out in full Nazi regalia while doing the Nazi salute and holding a bagel, as Stewart had suggested. However, the comedian didn't expect this would go down so poorly with the audience, who instantly started booing. The whole thing devolves. I see in the control room, there's an immediate break. The stage manager comes out and goes, uh, they need to see you in the control room. I go to the control room. We're filming on 26th Street in New York. Paramount, our syndicator, they're watching from a lot in Los Angeles. The phone rings. It's just one guy. And he goes, that will never see the light of day. That will never air. You will never do that again. He added, I was two weeks into a show and we're already putting reruns on, so we knew this thing's going down.